Pressure. Uh, this year, many were able to join the festivities following an easing of COVID-19 restrictions. Now, for hiking lovers, the three-day 116-kilometer Mosheshwe walk sees participants retrace the footsteps of their founder almost 200 years ago. SABC News correspondent Rapelang Khadebe has more. Mosheshwe's walk is retracing the footsteps that the great founder of Basotho moved in protection of their people to Tababusiu from Mengkwane. This Mosheshwe walk marks that particular event in retracing that a very treacherous territory where they want to understand how, what it took for him to build this nation. But there are people who have been celebrating and commemorating this journey, walking every step of the way. It is now the 15th installment that some of them have actually taken part in this series. Is this something an ordinary person with a physique like myself can actually do? What does it take physically and emotionally to actually do that? That this thing needs thorough preparation. You need to be physically fit. Do something. God walks here and there. I understand he has decided to completely talk Sesotho, but in summary, what he's saying is that you need to be physically fit. You need to at least do something in between such that ultimately your body can respond because the terrain itself is not very forgiving if you are not prepared. But for you, tell me, uh, I'm looking, one would think maybe your structure of the body is easier to comprehend. Is that the case? Not at all. I encourage everyone who is actually participating in any kind of walk, especially in long distances, to really train as much as they can, do the jog, jogging, running, um, go to gym, but most importantly, it's, it's all in the mind. Celebrating the king, Mushweshwe, and retracing his footsteps, today, what does it say to you? Oh my goodness, this is my very first time participating in this walk and I've just experienced a wonderful historical nature of Basotho and the best people to actually tell the story are the Basotho. So I encourage people, this is an annual event, so to come and really experience this beauty. Now, this is the second day of the walk. Tomorrow is the final installment. There's still about 100 or so kilometers that needs to be covered. But whoever has been through experience, some of them limping, some of them had to be carried, but there's also medical facilities that helps and makes sure that they are ready at least to continue and finish the walk. All right, that was Rapelang Khadebe. We'll have more from him in hopefully the next hour. We're going to take a quick break, get you more news next. Stay with us.